Welcome back to the Getting Started with Gmail series. I'm going to go over your account settings to show you how to make your Gmail account work better for you. You can select a different language to display your Gmail messages. Choose how many messages to show on each page and choose to turn keyboard shortcuts off or on. I'll go over keyboard shortcuts in a later video in this series. You can also select a photo that people will see when you email them. Just select it from your computer and then you can resize it and apply the changes. Some of your contacts may have pictures too, so you can choose to show all pictures or just ones you chose for your contacts when you set up your contact list. You can set up your email signature, which I covered in the third video in this series. You can also choose to set up indicators. If you choose to show indicators, then an arrow will be displayed by any messages sent to your address and others, and a double arrow when a message has been sent to your email address only. This section is also where you turn on your vacation responder. You can learn more about the vacation responder in the third video in this series. You can also choose outgoing message encoding. If you use the default encoding for outgoing messages, some email services may not be able to read it, resulting in the recipient not being able to read the email you sent them. It's recommended that you choose Unicode encoding for outgoing messages because it's accepted by most email services. You can also select the browser connection you want to use. If you choose always HTTPS, that means even if you log into your Gmail account from a non-secure internet connection, like a coffee shop, your Gmail account will remain protected through encrypted communication. If you trust your internet connection, then you can turn this function off, as it may make Gmail a bit slower. You can also use Gmail to send mail from other email addresses you have. Just click on Add Another Email Address. Enter in the name you want displayed, and then your other email address. You need to verify that this is your email address, so click on Send Verification, and click on the link you'll receive in the verification email. Now you'll be able to make this your default email address, or you can just have it available if you choose to send mail from that address at a later time. Remember, there are 10 parts to this series, so don't forget to check out the other parts in the Getting Started with Gmail series.